In this video, we can give you a couple of pointers to make your point of view videos more productive. In this example, we're going to use the video here of a person making a tomato salad. Now, if we look at the video glasses themselves, the safety glasses, you can see the video is actually in the center between the two lenses here. And what this means is when your people are looking at their particular work, they should be sure and point their forehead essentially at the work content so you can see exactly what is happening. Uh, what we've seen some people doing is maybe looking down in their glasses, which is obviously very natural to do. But when you want to get the point of view video here, you should ask them to point their forehead at the work content. Remember, they're only doing this for maybe one or two cycles to allow you to get the uh, picture for the training purposes or for your documentation purposes. But it's not going to be a strain. So when they're ready to start, they're going to swipe their finger across the frame here. And the LED inside here will show that the video is in progress and then it'll basically point their forehead at the work content and then proceed with the job here. We'll use this example here. I might just click on the uh, start here and the person's going to pick up the tomato and the knife and they're going to cut it. When they finish cutting the first one, I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to describe the work content at the top here, which is going to be get knife and tomato and cut and then they click on the save so the video analysis actually proceeds exactly like any other video in timer pro there's no difference here if i bring up the completed study here this is it here you can see i've done each of the individual steps so here's the first one get knife and tomato and cut then get the next tomato see now i'm reaching for the next one and he's cutting it up there and so on so there's uh, four tomatoes to be cut so everything here is going very well the video is obviously capturing all of the work content now we're going to do the tomatoes into bowl here and you'll see what happened to the uh, operator here he raised his head a little bit and you kind of lost a little bit of the video there not a lot but a little bit here and you can also see it with the position bowl at the work area the next activity here and you see the bowl just disappears momentarily from the video here. That's because he raised his head there uh, a little bit. And the glasses pointing forward didn't capture all of the activities here. But he quickly recovers with add the salt and so forth. All these other ones are pretty good. You know, you get the full uh, area of what the operator is doing. So just again, a pointer here. When the users are using the glasses, remind them to point their forehead at the work content. That will ensure you'll get the complete work area here. And what we found is it's not a major imposition because they're only doing this for a couple of cycles to give you the recordings you're looking for to produce your documentation and your training material directly from the point of view glasses.